Right, welcome back to another video. Something slightly different today. We are going to be making a video with the lovely Leah here. We're going to be making a mutt draft video. She knows... How much do you know about American football? Players-wise, what do you know? <laughs> Baker Mayfield. <laughs> Baker Mayfield. <laughs> That's probably about it. To be fair, she did get followed Ravens fans and Saints fans and <laughs> some Browns fans. She got followed on Instagram the other day by Paul Kruger, who, if you don't know, I'll put some photos in now. He won the Super Bowl, I think, with the Ravens or the Saints, one of the two, and he played for the Browns for a couple of years. He is retired now. He was a defensive player. I think he was a linebacker or an end. Um, pretty good player as well. She got followed by him on Instagram, which... Um, you got so jealous. Slightly <laughs> triggered. But um, without further ado, she's going to draft the Mutt Draft team, and I'm going to try and win the mutt draft if it's possible so let's do it handing over the controller starting with coaches what coaches you know nothing about coaches what any of this means west coast <laughs> attacking 3-4 defense Ron, who do you want Ron Rivera Mike McCarthy or Sean Payton Mike McCarthy just got sacked by the Green Bay Packers <laughs> uh, Ron Rivera is the Panthers coach and okay. Sean Payton is the coach of the New Orleans Saints so who do you fancy? Honestly, him. You like him? Just because the face he's pulling. Okay, you like him. Yeah. Ron Rivera is then. I'm not. I'm not gonna t help you. Okay. I'm just gonna tell you the players. Okay. Okay. So you just pick yeah. whoever you like. You got Josh Norman, Marshawn Lattimore, and Dominic Rogers Cromartie. They all play the same position. Wow. Why are their names so long and interesting? <laughs> I wouldn't even know how to pronounce half of these. Who do you like? Lattimore is the Saints, again. Rogers Cromartie is the Raiders. And Josh Norman plays for the Redskins. Okay. I'm guessing those, like, they're, like, the stats. Yeah, they're all the stats of the players, yeah. Okay. Um, and the big number, like, the big number, yeah. that is the, like, their overall rating, which is out of okay. 99. So, usually, the higher the number is, the better okay. the player. Okay. We'll go for... Marshall Lattimore. <laughs> oh, this is going to be fun pronouncing Right, here we names. go. So we've got Derek Rivers, right end. We've got two right outside linebackers. We've got Shaquem Griffin and Preston Smith. I know there's one person in particular that I would like to take. But okay. we'll leave it down to you. And I'll, tell yeah. you after, I'll tell you afterwards who it's going to be. Okay. Right, let's look at the stats. i actually try. Do you know what any of those things mean? No! Does that mean that means the height, the top one? Yeah, the height's yeah, the top one's the height. Okay. So you're just gonna pick the tallest one. Yeah. <laughs> just the beefiest boy. Yeah. Okay, we'll go with him. So I wanted him. Shaquem, oh! Shaquem Griffin. Right, Shaquem Griffin is uh, a linebacker for the for the Seahawks. He only has one hand. So he ha he has one hand and he has a stamp on the other one. Oh my god. So we've got Justin Reed who plays for the Texans. William Jackson plays for the Bengals and Mike Daniels plays for the Packers. They're all three of them are different positions as well. So they okay. all play different positions. So height, speed, it's all different for each player. Because they all play in different positions on the pitch. They're all basically the same height. <laughs> Is that what you're going for? <laughs> <now? laughs> <laughs> but I would just th I would think just because they're more like beefier, like more chance, isn't it? So everyone needs to be beefy. Yeah. Okay. Okay, we'll go with Mike, with him, William Jackson. William Jackson, okay, yeah. fair enough. Right, here we go. So this is a big round. Okay. We've got the big boy. These are these are really high-rated players now. And you've got Janoris Jenkins, also known as Jack Rabbit, who plays for the Rams. Yeah. You've got Derwin James, who is a rookie from the Chargers. He's just come to the league. And you've got Adrian Amos as well. I know... Exactly who I'd pick in this round. It wouldn't even there wouldn't even be a question of who I'd pick. Okay. But I'm hoping that you do enough here to pick the one that I'd pick. I'll just like read your mind telepathically. Oh, see now I feel like so much more pressure because I want to choose the one you want. Well, you just got to make a decision. I can't help you. This is the whole. This is the whole thing. I've got to win with whatever you pick for me. Okay, stop it. We're going with him. Ah. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> right, so we've got Takirist McKinley, Shaq Thompson, or Ezekiel Answer. Again, this is for me quite an easy one. But wow, these names are so interesting. 
To To Karis. To Karis. <laughs> <laughs> Is, to be fair, Ezekiel. 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 He looks like Ezekiel? he has the best. Who are you gonna pick? Stats. This is quite an easy one, I think. That's the that's the right. Yeah. That was quite an easy one. Oh, so we've got Sammy Watkins, who's a wide receiver. We've got Demarius Randall, who is a free safety for the Browns, and we've got David Moore, who's another wide receiver for the Seahawks, but. I'm not gonna. I can't help you. It's gotta be Browns. Yeah, fair enough. Demarius Randall. I don't mind that. Okay, here we go. This is another big one. Three wide receivers. Three different teams: Rams, Colts, and Tampa Bay. Who do you like out of all these? These are the guys that are gonna catch the ball. These are the guys that are gonna okay, catch so the these, ball. These, these are, are gonna like... be the receivers, so they're gonna be catching it. So whatever Baker Mayfield throws, them, they're gonna be catching it. Let's let's actually look at the stats for this, shall we? What do you know? What 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 are you looking at? I'm just looking for the highest numbers on everything. Honestly. T. Y. Hilton. So I know a couple of people are very very happy with T. Y. Hilton. Right, these are all running backs. So these are like almost like rugby players. Okay. Almost like they like to, they just run with the ball. They run with the ball in their hands. There. Kenyon Drake, Kerryon Johnson, and Chris Thompson. They're all pretty similar, like in their. Although, what does that TR kit case? Well, I can't. I'm not, I can't. I'm not going to help oh. you. you just <laughs> well, I'm not going to go. Some... I'm not going with him because. Maybe it's important. Maybe it isn't. Oh, like I can't. I want to help you, but <laughs> we're just we go down the middle. We go down the middle. Kerryon Johnson. That's good. Oh, okay, so we've got a legend from the league, Willie Anderson. We've got Cleveland Browns captain, Miles Garrett, or Kawan Short from the Carolina Panthers. Ooh. What are you thinking? So you want to go Browns, just because Browns, yeah. but he's got better stats, so... What are you going to do? <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> So we're not even we're not even bringing the Carolina guys out of the question. Yeah, he's, he, we're not even thinking about him. He's he's got a bit of orange lineage going on. Okay. I feel like that's a bad thing. So what we're we gonna do? We're gonna go with Willie Anderson, the legend. Or yeah, I feel like we're going. We're with going him. with the legend. Yeah. That's a good decision because you've already got a right end. Or oh, here we go. Here's the quarterbacks. So no Baker Mayfield. We've got it's Dak Prescott, in. Tom Brady. Who I thought you might have heard of. Yeah, I I feel like I've heard. Or Andrew Tom Luck. Brady. And I know there's one man out there that would love for you to pick Andrew Luck right now. Who's that? Um, <laughs> but who do you think you're going to pick? He's not looking too good. Oh, do you know what? Andrew Luck. I, I like that. That's good. I like speed. Right, so we've got a tight end, a wide receiver, and a centre. Three different <laughs> positions, all doing different things. Okay. Nick Vanette, Amari Cooper, or Matt Paradis. So they're all doing different things. So the centre might have worse stats in some areas and better stats in other areas because he does different things. Okay. So he doesn't have the same stats. <laughs> Zero chill. <laughs> Does that mean he's a bit... Fiery or <laughs> Oh my god. He has zero chill. He's always triggered. Yeah. We'll go with Amari Cooper because that just that sounds like a cool name. Okay, yeah, fair enough, that's not a bad one. Okay, another oh here we go, here's some big names. Big players. Big game of players. I know, I know none of them. Brandon Cooks, Hayden Hurst, or Adam Thielen. Two wide receivers and one tight end. Who do you like? I know who I'll take again. But. I think we'll go with him. Adam. Adam Thielen. Thielen. That's quite a normal name that you yeah. nearly got wrong. Adam. <laughs> Adam, you nearly got Adam wrong. Oh, 
Amuka Prince uh, Amukamara. Amukamara. Did you did you just like the name? Yeah. Are you just gonna pick him out <laughs> yeah. thinking? No, I am. I'm just going straight oh to Oh my that. god. <laughs> we have so many cornerbacks. Right, you've got Quentin Spain, left guard, you've got Matt Milano, outside linebacker, or Larry Ogan Joby defensive tackle for your Cleveland Browns. Oh, he's got better stats there. See, what I just, are you thinking? You just like the Browns players. Yeah, well, Browns are basically the only ones I really know of. They're the only ones I've watched. As a Quentin Spain plays out. for the Tennessee Titans, which is TD yeah. Barrett's team. Oh, okay. Well, to be fair, I'm just going... I'm going with Quentin Spain just because he has he better has stats. stats. Yeah. That's, a good, that's a good pick. That's a good pick. It was him or the Browns play. It was him or... Well, yeah. Max Unger, who's a centre, defensive tackle, Sheldon Rankins, and Mario Addison for the Panthers. So you've got Carolina, New Orleans, and New Orleans. Or New Orleans. How are you? New Orleans. Well, I'm not even going to try to do an American accent. Whatever you want to say. I think they're more New Orleans than <laughs> New Orleans. New Orleans. We'll Who, go with him. Straight away, straight in for Max Unger. I like that. That's a good pick as well. Yeah. Okay, here's another player that you might have heard of. You've got James Connor, who I don't think you'd heard of, plays for Pittsburgh. Odell Beckham Jr., who is known for the f that famous one-handed catch. I don't know if you might have seen that or not. Um, and OJ Howard. For me, mm -hmm. there's a position we desperately need, but I'm not going to say which one. They all play different positions. But there's one position we do need. Okay. It's so. literally the least helpful bit of information I can't, for me. I, I can't give you too much. I can't, I can't pick the team for you. Um, okay, right. I'm just going to go with best stats again, because honestly I don't know okay. what I'm doing. Okay, we didn't, we didn't really need him, but that's fine. We're got stacked. him now. Receivers, we are stacked. Mm -hmm. So that's fine. we got Marquise Pouncey, who's another centre for the Marquise. Steelers. Cameron Wake, who's a left end, and Julius Peppers, who's also <laughs> a No, I'm sorry. I've got to go with that, just because of the name. That's Fair that. enough. I just got to. Oh, my goodness. Right, so we've got a left tackle, a left end, and a right end. Considering... No, nah, I'm not going to give you too much. No. Bradley Chubb. Okay, so I'm going to say it's going to be between... The end two because they have the highest stats. So Taylor fair. Lewan or Bradley Chubb, please, <laughs> please. Oh no! <laughs> oh please, 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 please. I swear. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay, no, now I don't know who to pick because you you're like. You have to pick one. Oh god, it just. Oh. just no, Tell no, it to no, me no, telepathically. No, no, no. <laughs> oh, do you know what? I'm just going. I'm going. <laughs> it was the wrong choice. <laughs> okay. Right, so we have Bradley Roby, who plays for the Broncos. We have another Pittsburgh Steeler in Cody Centerbar. Okay. And Bobby Wagner, who plays for Wagner. Seattle Seahawks. <laughs> who do you fancy this time? You've got a couple that I've. There's, there's one. We're really stacked on one of the positions. In this. <laughs> we have so many players in the same position. This is just going to go so badly. Mm. Okay, right. Okay. Oh my goodness. Mm. We'll, go, we'll go down the middle. Stuff it. Let's... <laughs> right, the final round. There is only one player I'd have out of these three. They're all legends. They've okay. all been in the league years and years ago. Jack Tatum, Kevin Green, or Jeremy Shockey. There's only one player for me that that wins this one. But again, even people probably disagree with me. To be fair, but okay, I'm going with Kevin Green. Just because best stats. That was the wrong choice again, apparently. <laughs> right, let's have a look at what we've drafted. Let's have a little look, and I'll tell you what you've done. <laughs> everything you've done wrong, just so everything. Andrew Luck was really good. Adam Thielen was really good. 
Kerry and Johnson was probably the best we could get. Okay. Odo Beckham was good. Till Hilton was good. But then we got Amari Cooper, so we just got loads of receivers. We got, we got loads of them. So he's on the bench. Like he's probably not really going to play very much. Did you pick too, pick too many. <laughs> Sorry about that. <laughs> and then we've got we haven't don't have a left tackle because you didn't pick one. So we get have a rubbish one. Okay. We'll have a left. We have a good left guard, a good centre. We have no right guard. So okay. he's he's going to get hurt because there's no <laughs> he is there's gonna no get. there's no guys in here. We got a good right tackle. We didn't get a tight end, which is really upsetting because we had loads of tight ends as well. <laughs> but what you did do is you decided to pick. <laughs> One cornerback, two cornerbacks, three cornerbacks, four cornerbacks, five cornerbacks. So there's just cornerbacks every, coming out of our ears. What does that mean? Is we, that a good or bad thing? We've got loads of cornerbacks. They're the guys that just defend the wide receivers. Okay. Catching the ball. They defend them, basically. And you pick loads of them, which is fine, but they're not all going to play. We've got, we got a good right end, which is good. We've got a good left end. We've got a right end playing defensive tackle, so out of position. <laughs> We've got another cornerback there. <laughs> <laughs> Shark has a cornerback. Uh, we've got the one-handed man, Shaquem Griffin. I thought, you know what, throw him to in. To pick him. Kevin Green, who was your last pick. To be fair, he's quite good. He's actually quite good. And then we have we do have a Cleveland Browns player as well. So I think I think we have a chance. We're going to try and win a draft. We're going to try and win a draft. That is the plan. <laughs> right, here we go. Here we go. Okay, he's got some... Oh, he's got Dick LeBeau, JJ Watt. He's got good players. <laughs> then we got good players. <laughs> like, our good players. See, and he picked his players, whereas I didn't pick my players. So I think... I think we can do this. We start with the ball. You have no idea what's going on, do you? Really? Not really. We're just going to throw the ball around and... And hope. Hope for the best. That's the plan. Right, so we didn't get a tight end, so we're not really going to have to throw him the ball, because we didn't get one. Let's do it. I went to throw him the ball straight away. Get the man that you didn't pick the ball. <laughs> straight away. This could be a real struggle. This could be a real, real struggle. Because like, the thing is, I use my... And people who watch the videos will know, I use my tight end a lot. Like, a lot. Yeah. A lot of the time. He's like my get-out-of-jail-free card. To be fair, there was probably a lot of people shouting out their screens at me. Probably. <laughs> I'm giving him the ball anyway. He's like a 73, but he's just getting the ball. Because I love using my tight end. I can't change my game. I'm a, I'm a one-dimensional player. I can't change my game for anyone or anything. Okay. I have to play the way I play. <laughs> and that's it. Right, come on, we need a first down. We need to get a first down. And we've been sacked. Oh my god. <laughs> this is going so fast. So far. That's a great start. Right, fourth and eleven, we're gonna punt. We're gonna get rid of the ball. There's your King Griffin. Can you see his one can you see his one hand? Oh yeah. I don't know how he's meant to catch on this game. I don't know how it works. Oh like, yeah, because this... he doesn't have like a prosthetic or anything. No, he just hasn't no, it's just a Does he use stab. prosthetic in real life? No. It's just a stab. Oh my word. It's just, it is what it is. But I don't know what they do on the game. Like, is he going to catch the ball with his... Like, do you know what I mean? Does the game yeah. know? Is the game clever enough? Oh! Nearly got that pick. Nearly got that pick. Yeah, does the game know that he has one hand? Or is the game registered to understand that there's a player that can't catch the ball with... That hand because it's not there. Yeah. Or does it just read it? No, it doesn't. It doesn't know. Third and eleven. This is big. This is huge. Get there. Oh my goodness. Okay, it's not a first down. He'll go for this. Fourth and one. Oh my god. I can already tell this is not going to get much better. This is. <laughs> the faith is gone. <laughs> this is gone. No, we got this. We stop him here. <clears throat> he got. Oh, this is. No, he just he, he just snuck for it. He just yeah, he just snuck for the first down. What a. Wow. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Are you actually kidding me? <laughs> uh, what? 
Right. Now we're getting that pick. We're, we're getting a turnover right here. I'm not having this. Oh my god, it's a run. Oh, you keep playing. Yeah, that's right. If they play the hurry up, you can't go through your, like, your whole playbook and pick plays. Like. What does that mean? <laughs> I've never played this game before. So that means nothing to me. The hurry up is where, like. Instead of like going to that sort of pause screen where they get 25 seconds, they just run to the next play and just play it. So okay. you don't get time to like pick your plays oh, and stuff. Okay. So you don't get time to actually pick a proper thing to defend him. So like now, look, he's, he's, he's getting back really quick. Yeah. So I can't like defend it. But you can, you can change it a little bit. But it doesn't matter he's in. <laughs> he's in anyway, so it doesn't actually matter. On a scale of one to ten, how much do you regret letting me um, <laughs> pick them? <laughs> I, I, I would have picked like four or five different players. Now of twenty, I mean five changes isn't actually that bad. Okay. I think that's actually quite good. That's not too bad. Um, remember, I'm not the best at this game either. Right. Come on. But there's, there's like different points, isn't there, with a touchdown and like a field goal? A touchdown isn't there? six, a field goal is three. The point after, like the like a conversion, that's yeah. one. Oh, how is that over the line? Damn it, it's not going to count. We are in. We, we technically scored, <coughs> but we haven't actually scored. So if you go where the ball is now on the ground, yeah. if you go past there and try to throw it, that's not allowed. That's a penalty. Okay. So you're not, you're not allowed to do that. So I, I did that by accident. I'm surprised all these people in the audience aren't like throwing their drinks currently. <laughs> And we're, on, we're only a score down. We're all right. We're okay. We're, we're not in a good place right now, but we're, we're okay. We can still get... We can still do this. Have faith. Yeah, have faith in me. There you go. There's a, there's a first down. There's the big tight end that you didn't pick one. Imagine if he was good. He's got he's got a lot of ball very quickly in this one, and he's, a set, he's, he's our worst player, or one of. One of our worst players. Right. Where's another one? There's a dot. Here we go. See, we're, we're driving the pitch. Who says we can't play with <laughs> toilet players? <laughs> we got this. We've given them all a chance to prove themselves. Yeah, we've, we've given these nobodies, or some of these nobodies, I mean, proven that you don't have to have sick, sick players to. There's one. There's an easy throw. There we go. So there's two players you picked, and they're just. Yeah. We're doing it. Yeah. So the playbook's a big one. The coach that you picked's a big one as well, because it's actually the playbook that you get to use, like the plays. Like oh, okay. So, I'm guess yeah. So it's different. It's people. different for each one, yeah. yeah. Most of them, they're quite similar, like most of them, but there's a, there's little differences. Right, we need to score. We we have well, we don't have to score, but we kind of have to score. So if we don't, he gets the ball after half time, and if he scores again, it'll be like twenty one zero, and that'll pretty much be it. <laughs> Game over. Oh no! <laughs> oh no! <laughs> Oh no! <laughs> that was a bad. That was a bad read from me. That was a bad read from me. That's my fault. That's your fault. It is my fault. That was my fault. Ah, oh, right. Let's get your big, your big legend linebacker that you picked. Oh, he's so slow. It's not slower than I thought it would be. Right, he's running the same. Maybe running the same play again. Let's see if we can stop him. If we can get a stop, we're fine. There we go. Right, he's going nowhere. <coughs> we're doing good. We're doing alright. Mediocre. Mediocre at best. Okay. Like, it's not... It's not great. <laughs> <laughs> it's going okay. But could be worse. It could be worse, yeah. <laughs> We've nearly got our own pick. Right, he's fourth, he's fourth down. So we might get the ball back here. He has to punt. He has to punt it away. Or okay. if not, and he 
Okay, he's going for it. If he goes for it and doesn't make it, we get the ball back here. We get the ball back right here. So this could actually be quite, quite good. And he's made it. Damn. Damn. <laughs> right. Can we do it? Oh, no. here we go. Right. Oh, no. Oh, no. He's breaking tackles. Oh, he's gone. Oh, he's gone. He's given us time, though. He's given us time. That's the one thing. If I was him, I'd stop. No, he hasn't. Okay. And he's celebrating. Wow. Oh, my goodness. Lester Zeus. You. I want to say something horrible. <laughs> But we're not going to. But we're not going to. Because this is PG. We're going to try not to. If not, I'll bleep it out. <laughs> I can't believe that. Oh, we need to score. I want to score. I want to score in this one. I mean, if you wanted to score, you probably shouldn't have got me to pick the players. No, you picked some good players. You picked some good players. No excuses. No excuses. We're going to score. We're going to score and we're going to be happy, okay? Okay. What are we going to do? Score and be happy. Score and be happy. Yes. That's our, yes. That's our mojo. Mm -hmm. That's our motto. Mojo? Motto? Let's see if we can... Oh, he's got me again. Wow. That was actually good. That was, that was decent. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. He's picked... No, he's picked it. The one-handed man. <laughs> he picked it with his stub! <laughs> I mean... Well, at least now like, we've found out that the game doesn't actually... I'm not going to have a go at it because it's, I feel bad, but at the same time, I'm not happy that that's happened. <laughs> that's not a thing. Mm. I'm sorry, it wouldn't just stick to his, like, stub. We can in... put, like, a load of duct tape around Fumble! So can... We've got the ball back! Fumble! <laughs> we've got to go a ridiculous length. We've got most of the pitch to cover. <laughs> That's not. Yeah. That's staying in. No, please don't. No, there is no way. There's no way he's just fallen over that. <laughs> I don't think we're going to get another playoff before half time. Hurry up. But why is Adam Thielen backpedalling? <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm trying to bust that takes my. Skill. I'm trying to bust my ass to to get the ball, and he's just backpedal <laughs> in slow motion. They, they've all just given up because they know how rubbish this is. <gasps> oh no, he's pausing. What's he doing? Please say he's got to go for like dinner. <laughs> he's just. <laughs> he's had enough. He's gone. I'm so good at it. I'm beating <laughs> yeah. him so badly. What is the point? I What's might as well just quit. I'm just gonna quit. Like, what is the point? I don't know what he's doing. I'd love to just to see that come up with like your opponent conceded the game. <laughs> it would be so good. And in fairness, we're both at fifty percent completion. So I mean that's terrible, fifty percent. How's that? Yeah, like it should be like seventy. And twenty percent's quite a lot. Yeah, I mean. And he didn't quit. <laughs> and he didn't quit. <laughs> he was contemplating it. He was like, hmm. Why would he quit? He's absolutely given us a. He's given us what for? Yeah. I feel like I have some heart to play it's in hot, that. It's a teensy weensy like, bit. That much. Oh, there you go. So there's a good tackle. <laughs> what? Right, he's down. He's down. He's down. He's down. He's he can't score. He just cannot score here. He cannot score. Do not let him score. Whatever you do. Come on. Come on, Zach. Oh, no. It's good. <laughs> well. <laughs> do not let him score. There he scored. There he's in. Touchdown. You just watched 75 and the guy with the black arm thing on. Okay. <laughs> and tell me how okay. quickly he kills him. Oh, he's moved good. Damn. Yeah, you just keep. The more you watch him, the, the <laughs> good things seem to be happening. For <laughs> yes. So you should. You should have watched him all game. We might have been all right. <laughs> just concentrate on that man. Okay. We've got. We're gonna. Like use your. Well, I mean that didn't really work for when I was 
picking them. No, but it might work now. Like, we might score from it. Okay. I've already killed him. Nice. Ah, oh, did it make it? Didn't realize it was fourth down. We might not score. We might get. We might get whitewashed. Shut out. Embarrassed <laughs> is one of. The, is you could also <laughs> use that as a as a term of what has happened, potentially. How is no, we got four men in there? And how's no one come up with that ball? That is an absolute <laughs> outrage. I feel like all your confidence has gone out the window now. It's gone. It's, it's gone. It's just... I'm devoid of it. <laughs> That's a word. There you go, children. <laughs> devoid. You learn something every day, and that's what you learn today. I'm gonna go Urban Dictionary that. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know if they have an Urban Dictionary in America. Do they not? Well, it's an English thing, isn't it? Urban, like an Urban di Urban Dictionary. It's like it's an English thing. Um, I think. Literally, when I was younger, if there wasn't like anything I understood, I was like. Urban Dictionary. What is gone Google, and what does definition of? Because Urban Dictionary is better. Uh, if anyone doesn't know what Urban Dictionary is, it's basically. A dictionary that is urban tells you <laughs> <laughs> it's like a dictionary that basically just has every word in it, but it basically just summarizes it in a a more idiotic way. I'd say. Well, like, sure, we we'll go with much, that. We we'll go with that. Right, we've got eleven seconds at the end of this game. We're not going to win now. It's that's got that's gone. That's not, not possible happening. anymore. That's, that's impossible. Happening. But. We can try and score still. Okay. So that's what we're going to try and do. We're going to try and hit that big tight end. Oh, no. 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 It didn't happen for us. It just didn't happen for us. We tried to get the big tight end involved again. I think it's Greg Swain. He plays for the Cowboys, I think. And I want, I want you to look up Swain's life and learn about him. Who Swaim is, where he was born, who he's married to, how many kids he has, what he earns. <coughs> and one day you're going to meet Swaim and tell him how bad he is on Ultimate Team. <laughs> Me personally. You're going to meet him and go, Swaim, <laughs> you, my friend, are a shit house. Because <laughs> this has been nothing short of a disaster. 